Tiny Hopping Goblin One afternoon, someone was filming a little boy playing with his soccer ball and presumably the boy wanted to show off some of the tricks he was working on or learning. However, no one in the room expected what happened next. When the boy accidentally kicked the ball into the hallway, he appears a little reluctant to go out and get the ball, but in a few seconds, we know exactly why. The ball doesn't go very far and the boy takes a couple of steps into the hallway. What he sees next sends a shriek of terror through everyone's spines and in the camera frame you can see a small creature hopping through the frame. It's too small to be a rabbit and it doesn't appear to have a long torso or hind legs. No one's really sure what it is and it's only in the camera frame for a few seconds but it's scary enough to send the little boy crying. We're not sure if he ever got his ball back or if the family stayed in that home. It could have been some kind of small rodent for all we know. The Tiny Terror While kids were out playing soccer at night in a quiet town in an area of Chile or Argentina, they were having fun, laughing among each other, and playing a nice, friendly game of soccer. However, when one of the boys kicks the ball over to the area with the trees, it's a well-lit area, so no one suspects anything of being over there. Once they begin walking over there, however, something appears out of nowhere and begins walking towards the darkness. It appears to be a small, goblin-like creature wearing a robe and a hoodie. No one's quite sure what to make of the creature, and the kids begin following the creature to see if they can get a better view of what they just saw. They don't quite catch up or see the creature ever again, but the boys do leave baffled, wondering if they just saw a small person wearing a robe, and if it was in fact a person, why was it walking the way that it was? Why did it not speak, and why was it out in the middle of the night walking alone in a dangerous place? Hidden in Plain Sight in a rather blurry video, it's hard to see exactly what the people here see, but once the object starts moving, you can see it clear as day. Friends are having fun recording themselves at night, but no one thinks of the object standing right behind them against the wall, sitting in plain sight. That's because everyone assumed it was some kind of prop or toy that was left out in the yard. It's not until the object gets up and appears to move like a human that people start to become concerned. The object seems to grow legs and quickly walks out of the frame, sending people scrambling and running, leaving the cameraman and his friends questioning what exactly they saw, how they can comprehend what they just saw, and how long that creature had been there. It couldn't have been the wind, it would have taken some heavy wind to blow something like that away and nothing else was moving. What do you think it was? Did a lawn ornament or object come to life? Was a goblin hiding there the whole time watching the kids play? Or is there a simple explanation? The Running Goblins In what appears to be someone's backyard camera or security camera, it looks like another quiet night. Their backyard is lit perfectly well, and all we can see in the beginning of the video is a tree, some fencing, and some grass beyond the fence. However, things take a bit of a weird turn as some small objects, smaller than the fence, begin to run alongside the fence. It's hard to tell exactly what's running alongside the fence at first, and it appears to be about a dozen objects running in unison, dressed exactly the same with the same body type and appearance. Towards the end of the video, we can see a couple of objects fly over the fence and stop moving. There could be a simple explanation for this video. Perhaps it was a group of kids running and two of the kids removed particles of clothing to throw them over the fence, but why are they running and what are they running from? Why would two people randomly remove particles of clothing to throw them over a fence and why did they all look the exact same, even the clothes? Could it have been escaped prisoners from a nearby holding facility? There are so many questions to this video that just may never get answered. Out in the Woods when a video starts out in the woods, you know it's probably not going to go well or end with a happy ending. We're not sure exactly where these people are filming, but they appear to be walking around in the woods and stumble upon an abandoned structure or perhaps someone's home. They start to approach the home and they notice something a little peculiar. They take a look at one of the pillars of the building and they appear to spot something that's truly frightening. A little creature peers around the corner of the pillar and then quickly goes back behind the pillar, quickly disappearing into the shadows. While the video isn't perfect quality, it looks like an image of a person that's really small. 
They try to follow the creature and slowly pan the camera around the edge of the pillar to see if they can still catch a glimpse of the creature, but it's gone with no traces of anything behind the pillar. Now, this is one of those things you have to take into account as this could easily be faked, but nonetheless, it is rather interesting. Do you think it's a computer-generated person since it looks so much like a person or a real goblin? The Wandering Goblin This one might be closer to a leprechaun with the broad shoulders and the way it's walking, but it's still terrifying nonetheless. We see someone filming from the second floor of what we assume is somewhere in South America. The camera starts out with a shot of their dog in the film and they quickly pan down to the floor level where a little girl is playing on her bike. She walks over to the side of the house to pick something up and as she's walking back, we see a small creature that looks like a goblin or leprechaun casually strolling through as if he lived there. The little girl was obviously frightened and the image of the small creature sent her running for cover, but the creature didn't seem to react to the child screaming. It just kept walking as if it had somewhere to be. We have no idea where this was filmed or what the outcome of this video was, but it's still scary nonetheless, and we don't know if the creature was pursued or if it just disappears behind the corner like others have in the past. The only thing we know for sure is that it definitely wasn't human. The Small Running Goblin The video starts out harmless enough. We see someone just filming their child as most parents do. Everything a child does is precious, and parents certainly like to overdo it when it comes to sharing moments of their children and their actions, even if the child's just sitting there doing nothing. We don't really get a hint of anything being wrong until a few seconds in, when out of nowhere, this small creature appears to be running for cover. The small creature runs behind what appears to be a stand or table. Even the child catches a glimpse of the small creature because he looks under the desk to see if he can spot him again. We're not sure if they ever caught another glimpse of the creature, and the child couldn't seem to find it either. We're not certain what exactly they caught on camera, but we can definitely tell you that it didn't seem human. It seemed rather quick for its small size. The creature looks kind of green or brownish. It looks like it's balding and almost looks like an alien. The Sideways Moving Goblin in a grainy security home video or a hallway video, we're not exactly sure where this video comes from, but the video is straight to the point. The only thing we see in the image is some weird limping creature that seems to be holding something in its right or left hand. We can't tell if the back or front is turned towards us, and it appears to be limping as it moves to the right of the frame. It almost moves as if it's a doll that's being strung along in perfect rhythm, but that would take some serious coordination to pull off, which makes us think it's not so much a doll as it is an otherworldly creature that can't be explained by science. Or is it? There's really no information available on this thing that seems to move with a limp, other than that the video footage is a little grainy and it doesn't look like anything logical we can identify. Spider-Man Goblin this is another one of those incidents where we have no clue why this person was filming, or maybe they saw something before the video we see to get them to start recording. What we see is a quiet residential neighborhood and an apartment complex. Everything seems rather quiet and no one's outside, but then we see this shadowy-like figure appear and start moving in between windows and in between the apartments. We're not sure exactly what the figure is looking for or if they're trying to find an open window. This is why you should never leave your window open at night, because you never know who or what could crawl inside. The creature appears to be rather small, and it looks like it knows how to scale walls and climb along the side of the building, which is even more terrifying. It doesn't move or look like any known animal, so we can only assume that the video has to either be fake or that this was something we'll never be able to explain. A photo in a photo. One of the most crystal clear cases of a goblin sighting would have to be this last image we have. We have a video that starts out as a friend filming their person who is in turn taking a picture of them. It's not long until we see an image of a small creature-like presence behind them. When the creature starts moving, it almost looks like it's a dressed monkey, but the creature doesn't move like a monkey and doesn't behave like one. Once it gets behind a bush, it takes a minute to stop and just sits there, watching the cameraman. The people don't seem to be too frightened because they have no clue what it is. After a minute, it takes off into-